Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. So we start by opening the gate, our daily tradition, and we're going to be bailing the hayfield today, but as you can see, our bank account balance is at minus 988. This is because of all the expenses that we incurred with the beet harvest, but that's fine because we still have all of the sugar beet to sell, uh, which will probably bring us about 30,000 pounds in, which for this series is very good going. So we're gonna recover the money by selling wool, and if we have any eggs over at the chickens, we'll sell those as well. Um, well, we don't have many, actually. But yes, the hay is all for feeding to the sheep. And um, we'll, we'll feed them, obviously, when we've made the hay bales. The chickens have got half a trough of feed, so they're not doing too badly. But just so I don't forget, just so they're still doing well, I will feed them whatever they require straight away. Yes, of course, the reason why I've also lost money overnight is the daily fee from various tools. This tractor, for example, the front loader, the windrower, and possibly something else as well. Yeah, so I was a little bit concerned this wouldn't work, but I think it will do. Just need to get close enough to the trough. Yes, there we go. And it would appear they do take quite a lot. But we'll scoop that up. And we shall keep it for another time. Go and put it over here. So yeah, the chickens are doing perfectly now. No issues. They can continue to produce their eggs. I will, of course, just check on here. Uh, yes, yeah, it's all perfect. Very good. Um, actually, those ones might be worth selling. Would they? And those? Possibly. Um, it really depends how much money they're going to bring in for us. If they're not going to bring us anything at all, well, next to nothing at all, it's probably not worth it. But let's just try it. £300. Okay. <laughs> well, the others are reproducing. Uh, yes, uh, we'll go with that then. Hopefully I'm doing the right thing here, and £200 there, so we're still minus 488 but as I said, that is absolutely fine. We can now pick up the pallet of wool, and we can take it to the sell point. Then, we can rent the Roland baler. I will take both the pallets, even though one is only partially filled. And yes, I think it's only been 24 hours and the grass is fully regrown. I know grass does grow rapidly at this time of year. I suppose, yeah, the game is working in months, so that's a whole month's growth. It's just for us it feels very fast. I could change that by having multiple days per month. Um, would that be a good thing to do? Maybe it would. Would that slow it down? Should do. Right, so the best place for wall is Transpol, the price is going down. That's over the top there, I think. Yeah, over there. But we will, I think, leave the eggs, unless the price is at its best. They do take eggs. Three, one, four. Yeah, we can get a thousand pounds more if we wait. So we will wait. That's per 1,000 litres. We don't even have a thousand litres. This should be everything we need, just to be able to rent the baler. And it might be another uh, rent to own. Let's get over a thousand pounds, that would be ideal. Hopefully two thousand, but I didn't really calculate it. Yes, fantastic, three thousand four hundred and seventy-nine. So that is enough to be able to rent the Roland baler. So we shall do that. And then we'll be able to make the bales for the, the sheep's feed which I know the sheep are going to very much appreciate, and I will appreciate it too, because although, yes, we can go with those conventional bales, it is quite labour-intensive, and it's going to be nice just to have a few bigger bales. Also, if we don't have a pallet fork or bale spike, we should probably get one now. I can't actually remember. I don't think we do, because, yeah, I've only just recently acquired uh, this tractor with the front loader, so it would be good to get one, and it's also the sort of thing which would be good to buy, probably. Although now we do have the rent to own mod installed, maybe we should just do that with everything. Start off renting it and eventually buy it. So 
so we'll put the small trailer back in the shed um, I'm not too sure if we need anything from behind there, I don't think we do I can see a mower which we're not using today um, we will be drilling actually, so I mustn't block in the seed or the fertiliser so it can go over here that's good if I don't crash I've wrapped myself around a door well that's good enough Okay, yeah, very quickly, uh, let's just see. I, I'm pretty certain we don't have a pallet for it, but it might say that we do because it will belong to the store for their tractor. Okay, we don't. I thought it had something. Ah, yes, it had its own special one for the 1630. So we'll get one for this. I'll take the bucket off here. Put that there. And I'll see you over there. Then once we've done the baling and tidied the bales up, we can re-drill the sugar beet field. And it will not be having sugar beet again. Um, it will probably be wheat or barley. Probably barley. So first I'm going to go with the baler. Yeah, I think if we were to purchase the I thought we wouldn't actually be able to afford both, so we'll have to rent both. But that's fine. It is the Rollant. Uh, rim colour. I'm really not too bothered, actually. Yeah, red's fine. So 867. Uh, just that in itself, that is way cheaper than buying just a single hay bale. So it just goes to show it's worth it. And the front loader tools. Yes, I'm not a fan of this uh, bell spike. I much prefer to use a pallet fork. 86 pounds, okay, that's pretty good. So all that for less than a thousand. Plus daily and hourly fees. But we're not really gonna be clocking up the hourly fees. Um, it's probably gonna be used about five minutes a season. Well, we do have the straw as well, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I'm liking the look of this. It looks good. Nice baler mod. I see many other farmers have got some crops ready to harvest down there. Four fields together. Those will have popped up as contracts. Um, but yeah, I think we're a bit busy today to do a contract of harvesting. I think we're going to have to get our own land turned around. Okay, so how many bales will we get? I actually don't know what size bales this one will produce. I can't see anything which allows me to change it, so it must be a single size. It will have said on the menu, but we'll leave it as a surprise, unless of course you already spotted it when I <laughs> went to rent it. Uh, but it looks like, judging by the speed that's filling up at, they're not the smallest, although I, I really can't say confidently. Not yet. Uh, it might be 5,000 litres, possibly. And I think, actually, yeah, the sooner we have those trees down, the sooner we have them down, the better, because it's making it difficult to turn. Maybe when I redo it, we'll have purchased a new grass field, and we can turn this entire area into trees. Because those trees won't be that much longer, I don't think, until we actually cut them down and sell them. So that'd be quite interesting, turning all this into trees. Ah, uh, there's a tree. I should have spotted it. A tree in a forest. Taking the front loader off would have probably been a wise idea. Anyway, here is our first bale. It looks like it's four and a half. There we go. Four and a half thousand litres. Not bad. It is just the perfect size for us. just hope we can get two. We don't want to have some stuck in the baler. Um, although we will be harvesting that field there probably next time, so it will force the next one out when we add a bit of straw to it, so it will convert it into hay. But yeah, please, please let me get the second one. 
just so we can have the confidence in knowing that we have enough food for the sheep. It's looking promising. Just trying to get that piece there. Nice. Yeah, it's looking very promising. So it looks like it will be about two bells exactly. Six percent. And yeah, another reason to keep the baler, because otherwise we're going to lose what's left in it. There we go. And now to finish off. It was short and sweet, but it was definitely worth it. You can see we've got a few little bits dotted around so my point exactly about not really clocking up the hours <laughs> no chance of that but the first bell I will just leave well actually we can open those doors and put it into their feeding area and the other one I think we'll just put it in the shed over here keep it nice and dry but we do need more shed space soon because as you can see we are getting quite a lot of machines and they're having to stay outside. I think the next time we use this baler will be in the uh, cereal crop field next to us so that'll be really soon. So it should be right just there. Oh, that's a bit there I've missed. I don't think it'll be going anywhere, so we can get it next time. Or actually, when we bring the baler out for the uh, wheat crop. Is it wheat? Uh, it's either wheat or barley. Let's just quickly see. It is a barley field. Yeah, so if I just put this bale in here, that'll keep it nice and dry and out of the way. Will they take it all? Nope. There is 3,285 litres left there, so that's perfect. Keep it nicely tucked away. And yes, the other one is... Good grief, I've lost one of my bales and there's only two in total. There it is, it's camouflage. I could put it in there as well, actually. Doesn't really matter. But as mentioned, I do not want to block in the seed, so it can go right to the back. We just put it there. And then sort of slide it across. There we go. So yeah, speaking of seed, let's attach to the drill. That must be the one off the 1630. We've still got it here. And yeah, it shouldn't be here. <laughs> that belongs to the store. There we go. I've reset it. So we have 56% fertilizer and 45% seed. Uh, we might as well just fill this up to the top. That would be the easiest thing to do. Fertiliser first, seed second, so it's actually consumed the rest of those bags, so we have nothing left. Um, so that's not a major issue, because I think we probably do have enough here anyway. We're set to oats. I did say barley, we already have a crop of barley, but yeah, I think we'll do barley again. It's a good crop. So here we go turning the field around. Yeah, I did oats in that field there, because we own, well we own all these fields now, that's such a nice feeling that we own this entire block, except for the buildings over there, uh, which I, I guess does look weird, but we're not spending 15 and a half thousand pounds 
on the yard because we can't actually use the buildings. If we could go in them, if we could store in them, then that would be perfect, but yeah, it's just the way it is, so we'll just have to build our own sheds, which is actually more fun anyway. A few people were asking about these bells here. They are just for display. They're not bells that we can use. And I believe, if I'm not mistaken, they're on the land of the yard anyway, so even if we could use them, they wouldn't be ours. This is going to feel so fast compared to harvesting. Harvesting with the beet harvester. That beet harvester though was absolutely amazing. The link is down below if you're interested. Because it, it seems quite unusual to have a two row beet harvester in the game. So it makes a really nice change from using the bigger ones. The modern ones I should say. Getting it done just in time. Here's the rain. Now it does say ready to harvest um, on the grass, but it's only 50% fertilized. It would have been nice to do the full application. Well, it hasn't actually been fertilized at all. It's because it already is grass, so you get the 50%. But I just don't know if, if I was to spray it, would it work? I don't know. Good rain to water in the seeds to start the germination. And yes, as suspected, it has barely used any of the fertilizer and seed. Very good to see. I think I will just quickly test it just to see if I can fertilize it. a really really quick test strip because obviously I don't want to be wasting this. That should be enough. 100% fertilizer is working. Great. So despite it being ready to cut, we can still get that extra 50%. So it's going to be 100% fertilized. Which is going to make all the difference in the world. Shame about the rain, but there's not much we can do about it. We could just rest. Have I left an awkward strip? Actually, no, I haven't. That's pretty good. Good. Made to measure. There might be a bit here. Just off into the corner. Ah yes, it's because that piece wasn't actually drilled properly over there. It's still just stubble. Now is there anything else we can do? I don't think there is. Because we're now waiting for that field to be ready. Actually, yes, I can go and get some more water for the sheep. If they are drinking rapidly. It is actually a shame that the trough doesn't fill up from the rain. I don't think it does, but you can see the downpipe going into their trough from the roof. There we go, and it's left one strip down the middle. Lovely almost out of fertilizer but we just made it 
So we will have to get some more fairly soon. I, we, we might actually have a bit left in the IBC. Did we use it all? I think we did. Yes, so we do need to get some more fertilizer. Something that we can't currently afford, but we will be able to afford it soon. So as you can see, that's the grass field. That's field number one that we've just done. That will have to be sprayed next time. So we'll definitely have to get some more. But yeah, water. Now let's go and get some water. I don't think we need to keep this front loader on for now. We can take it off. See, when we rest, we're going to incur quite a few fees again from these machines that we have rented. Luckily, though, we will have all of that to bring in next time, plus the straw. So we should be able to recover the money pretty quickly. But it is going to be, it's going to be September when we harvest, so the price for barley probably will not be that good at all. Which is the only negative thing. Which means we may have to do a contract to recover money. Wow, this weather's really turned. Well, I think we can afford to put the time to times 120 for now. Have our usual swim in the lake, or the pond. It's really a pond, isn't it? Borrowing water, and we'll get back to those sheep. As that grass has fully grown, we could cut it again, but I think there is going to be more growth if we leave it. It's best not to rush into these things. Yeah, so there's a dam pipe coming off the roof. But it doesn't seem to fill it. We do have 34% left, so this can stay here anyway. And now we wait. Yeah, there really is not a lot we can do in the rain. Could shelter in the hen house. Um, yes, I think we will. Oh no, the rain is clearing, nice. But it doesn't really change a great deal, because we have done everything. It's all done. I think what we'll do is we'll harvest the canola in fur number nine. Accept the contract, we'll get a bit of money in. So the time is back to time six, that should be absolutely fine. And yes, fur number nine is not far from here at all. I'm pretty sure our combine can get through the gate with the header attached, but it is tight. I should probably check and see exactly how to get there. Um, yeah, we should be able to sneak around here. Failing that, we have to go all the way around. We could cut across here, but yeah, we'll try and sneak across the road. Do this from first person view. But I think we should get a, a new shed as soon as we can afford it. Because we are seriously lacking storage. Here is the turning. Oh, there is a track anyway. Is that? Oh, no, there isn't. That's a bus shelter. <laughs> Hilarious. Um, yeah, so... Sorry, cars. Is there a track further on? I run the risk of just being in the way of everybody here. Let them pass. And we're going to see. I'm not going to let the people behind pass because there's just no point they're not real can't quite see past the corn crop but there is definitely something here looking promising yes hooray good You do have to be careful when accepting those contracts because some of them will be corn and we can't harvest corn because we don't have the right header. It should only be a tiny field. Minute. 
There is a chance it will fit into here. But if we have to bring the trailer across, then that is also fine. It is tiny. But 670 pounds plus uh, probably double that. Because that's what we seem to get as a bonus. So over a thousand pounds, over maybe even over twelve hundred pounds for what is going to be a small amount of work. It's all going to fit. We'll have to go back down to get that strip, but that's going to be fine. And then we can just unload in the yard, into the trailer, and take it to the allocated sell point, which is probably the usual place. I think most of the contracts do tend to go to the same place, which is, I think, the grain mill. It will have said. Um, oh, it's not. It is the other one. But it's the same place. It's just the opposite unload station. I should probably just tag it. So it looks like the contract system does use both. Not bad at all. So we'll have a quick look to make sure I haven't missed anything. I haven't and we can get up to the yard again to unload but it's quite nice coming over here we might one day own one of these fields now for the fun part pulling out onto the road the coast is clear Will we make it though? Highly unlikely. Uh, there's usually quite a few cars on this road. One will come around this corner any second. Wow. Sometimes it's just so fun to be wrong. But will I make it to the yard? He just walked through his own gate. Closed gate. We've made it, wow. That is surprising. And no, I didn't turn off traffic. I crashed into my own gate as well, going in and going out. So that is all good. We'll jump into the Ford and attach that to the trailer and we'll finish by making some money. Always nice to finish with some money coming in is what I try to do. I will back this up, put it over here. Not a bad place for it. And yes, we do have a hose pipe there. A few people said, why don't you use that instead of going to the pond for water? Uh, it's a good idea. I haven't actually tried it, but usually those hose pipes cost money. Like you have to pay for the water. So yeah, I, I can't say for sure, but I'm guessing that you do have to pay. Here's all the traffic. What was that? Nine tons? Actually sounds quite light. For the tractor trailer and its contents. Okay. So some of this, the last little bit, will go to us. Hopefully over a thousand. 494. Whenever I say hopefully something, it's always either way less or way more than I say. Never anywhere near it. Um, no, it's going to be over a thousand in total though. Just. Um, yes, because it's 609, so collect that. We're back up at 2994. Very nice, because overnight, yeah, we're going to incur some fees 
for the tractor and everything. Combine. Yeah, I always forget about the combine. Uh, so, yes, it would have gone down. But that's just the way it is. We can't run these things for free. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again very soon. Bye for now.